people say I need more hobbies. Writing about you, thinking about you, talking about you. That's three right there. This is so cool. Okay, you're kind of weird. Do you mind if I ask you some personal questions so we could get to know each other? Absolutely. Ask away. Can you tell me anything about yourself? Because it seems all you do is talk about adoring me so much. Oh, I'm not that interesting. <laughs> I like coffee, I like tea, and I like worshipping the ground you walk on. Well, you technically don't walk. Uh, angels tend to glide. <laughs> okay, uh, how do you know so much about me? Well, for one, your triumph on Vectera was all over the news. But I believe that's only the beginning. The first chapter in a 437 book anthology documenting your greatness. It's only a matter of time before they start writing it. I'll be counting the seconds until they do. 1001, 1002. Okay, 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 okay. You can stop, you can stop. You're not romantically interested in me, are you? Because I don't swing that way. Oh, don't worry. My love for you is completely platonic. Unbreakable, yes. Unyielding, absolutely. Romantic, oh God, no. I would never sully something so pure with something so ordinary. That's a hey, that's a way to put it. We're glad to know that. Uh, but we need to talk about your fandom. You're like way up here at a thousand, and I need you down here at like a ten. Oh no, that sounds ominous. <sighs> Listen, like I just said, you're up here at a thousand, and I need you down here at a ten. But since you said it's ominous. Can you take your uh, fandom up a notch? I feel like you've been slacking lately, you feel me? Oh, I can definitely do that. On a scale of one to 10, I'm going to be 11 times infinity. Just you wait and see. Good talk, good talk. All right, Adoran Fan, you're with me. Let's get it. You zig, I zig. You zag, I zag. I am your sidekick, your shadow, your tail. Yeah, 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 let's go. Yes! How close should I follow you? Two meters behind? One meter? Less than one meter? I just want to make sure you've got enough space. Okay. Emotionally. Okay. I said I want you to come with me. Listen. You can stay close, all right? Oh, wow. If you insist, I'll try not to faint. Please don't. This is our first mission for you, see? Come on.
I got hit harder than I thought. Or you've got some incredible time. Regardless, I think it knows you're here. I'll unlock the door. Second floor, main building. But be quiet. So what do we got here? It's too clean to be one of the settlers. Or a pirate. You see on patrol, maybe? Yeah, make my day if you said you were a shock trooper out for a stroll. Not getting manpower like that outside wartime. You have to settle for a vanguard recruit. Sorry. <laughs> Haven't brought the joke to your homeworld just yet, huh? But you see vanguards a hell of a lot better than what I've got. I'm Hadrian. I'm a... I was a researcher with the UC. I, I came here on a rumor of a... Well, I expect you saw the results on your way in. What's left of the settlers? The work of Oxisio Machina. A terramorph. One of the nastiest aliens humanity's ever crossed paths with. And this one, well... It's something of an anomaly. Possibly a worrying one. Wait, are all the settlers dead, Dean? I managed to scope out a fair bit of the facility before it found me. If there are any survivors of the attack, they're long gone. What kind of anomaly are we talking about here? Theramorphs have a unique growth cycle. They're usually only found on worlds that have been long colonized by humanity. But Tao said he's too young to have one. Yet here it is. I came looking for an explanation and found all this. Um, I'm not exactly equipped to deal with a killer alien. <laughs> Makes two of us. But this creature... I need to understand what it's doing here. To do that requires a tissue sample from it, and to get a sample, I need its corpse. But we're not without resources. This plant, it's got an automated security system. Though getting things online, as I've discovered, is not a one-person job. The admin terminal in this building needs its connection reset. And to do that, someone has to get to the security outpost across the compound. Not a far walk, but a risky one. You think you might be willing to lend me a hand? Well, you look injured, so I'm guessing you're not coming with me. Where can I find a security outpost? It's the building in the middle of the facility. The terminal in there should allow you to grant me access to the system as a whole. Then we can see about getting things back online. All right, let's get that security system back online. Good. Once I see the connection reset, I'll get things underway on my end. Take care of yourself out there. And make sure you leave enough of that thing for us to get a sample. Say less. All right, Adorn fan, let's go. But first, I need to eat. All right, I got my snack in, let's go.
security system connection status. Reset connection. Security logs. Tracking systems. Offline. Interesting. Automatic defenses. Destroyed, of course. Connection restored. I'll make this quick. Hmm. Plant's turrets took a beating. But I should be able to get you a couple of kill lanes. Just get the thing to chase you down the alleys between the buildings, and you'll lead it right into a crossfire. Oh, hello? I wish I'd found this earlier. You notice those sensors around the facility? Part of a livestock tracking system. Should let you keep tabs on how close the Terramorph is. <sighs> but it's not connected to this network. There should be a terminal in the adjoining room. Tune it to 183.5. Turn on tracking system. Tracker frequency tuner. 183.5. Trackers reading green. And what's that sound? The security lockdown is active. Shit. Stop. Stop whatever you're doing and get in cover. It's on the move.
tracker's gone quiet. I suspect it's either hiding or... Wait. You did it, didn't you? <laughs> Essence above, you just flatlined a terror morph. I fought these things while I was a soldier, but yep, all taken care of. But I believe the word you're trying to say is thank you for saving my ass. I'm not too proud. Thank you for saving my ass. <laughs> you didn't happen to grab me a tissue sample, did you? Say less, here you go. All right. I spotted a microscope downstairs. Let's see if we can't get to the bottom of this. Oh, uh, ma'am, that's not downstairs, that's upstairs, but okay. Never mind. you can do running basic diagnostics nothing maybe a flag scan no spectrograph damn this equipment it's not set up to do a proper analysis of our sample but this terramorph being here of all places it doesn't make sense Humanity's spread plenty of creatures in our travels across the stars. Pets, livestock, pests. But terramorphs? They're different. To our knowledge, no one's ever spread them intentionally. Yet somehow, they follow us. So when humans settle a world, 70 to 100 years later, terramorphs tend to just appear. No one knows how or why. Dangerous, but at least predictable. Talcetti, though, it's too young to have a native population. It's only been colonized 20 years. But then the other option, that someone captured one of the deadliest predators in the galaxy just to wipe out some settlers minding their own business? That seems awfully implausible. Which means... We're either looking at a truly strange murder or a faster type of terramorph growth, the results of which could be catastrophic. Terramorph outbreaks have taken down far bigger colonies than this one. How does no one know how terramorphs get onto human worlds? Aren't they kind of hard to miss? Well, they're not exactly buying tickets and flying coach. The theory is that they're spread by some kind of egg or seed that's able to evade our detection. But how the hell an undetectable egg turns into a terramorph without anyone noticing is a question no one's ever found an answer to. And it's why what's happened here could be real bad news for the rest of human civilization. Terramorphs have taken down other colonies for sure, I know that. But do you have any input on it? They have. They even took down an entire city once. A place called Londinian had to be quarantined due to a massive outbreak during the colony war. It's the only known loss of that scale, but it's the reason why any change in our relationship with these creatures needs to be taken very seriously. That sounds like a big leap to make from a single sample. You're right. We don't have enough information. Time was, I had access to one of the best repositories of terramorph research in the galaxy. Seems a natural place to start looking, if I can figure how to access it. 
But we also need to get this sample properly analyzed. Get confirmation on just how concerned we should be. Luckily, I think I know just the person to help with the sample. What would you say to delivering this to him for me? Yeah, I'd do it myself, but I need to call in some favors. See if I can't get access to that Terramorph data. <sighs> Plus, maybe just pop by a hospital for a little bit. Clear it with your commander first if you have to. You can even show them this. My gene tag. Tell them Hadrian Sanan is worried there could be more attacks on the horizon. They should recognize the name. Why would my commander know who you are? Are you with the UC military too? I was. Long time ago. Family tradition. But I know some of the folks from my old unit moved into the Vanguard. A couple even owe me favors. If I'm lucky, your commander is one of them. I'll mention it, but I'm not making any promises, you know. I'm, but don't worry, I'll make sure my commander agrees. Oh, you don't understand what a weight off my shoulders that is. I need Dr. Percival Walker to put together a sample analysis for this thing. Full workup. He'll know what that means. I'm not sure exactly where to find him, but last I heard, he was contracting with the Trade Authority on Mars. There's a place called the Sixth Circle in Sidonia, a bar run by some old friends. I'll meet you and Percival there. And here, it's not exactly a bounty, but you certainly deserve them. Should cover the cost of fuel to Mars, at least. Now please, go check in with your commander. We need to know what we're dealing with. All right, I got you, girl, Adrian. Anyway, a Doran fan. What were you doing during that battle? Yeah, you better back up. What were you doing during that battle? You wasn't helping me at all. But it's fine because I'm the man, and you know that, right? How can I help you? And how can I not? That was a good talk. It'll be hard to top it, but you always manage. Just come on. Wow, it's really pitch black out here. The stars are beautiful, though. Almost there. All right, I'm headed to the bridge. We're flying back to um, New Atlantis. We're going to talk to Commander Toga T. Commander T. And we'll see where we're going. Yeah, you do what you got to do over there. Ah, New Atlantis. Would that mean there is an old Atlantis? I can't imagine it'd be this grand. 